It was such a great experience to actually meet with them, to have the food with them, to learn how their lives are in that, uh, you know, in that scenario, and why did they actually do these wrong things, and are they actually bad people? Are they, you know, uh, what is the reason they've actually uh, committed such crimes and they've come there? It was a wonderful experience because we uh, got to understand that you know these people are in fact not criminals. When they come there, they're uh, driven by certain scheme of things they are expected to do, uh, some things they want to, they have to achieve to turn themselves better. And it was such a beautiful experience actually. And Dr. ATG was completely astounded and he was like, this is definitely a unique school I must say. And in fact, before we went to uh, Viharje, he in fact gave us a poem that he wanted us to recite to all those uh, criminals and uh, basically inmates, yeah, inmates in the jail. So it's just amazing the recognition we get everywhere because just be just because we're so unique. Mushati was talking about uh, how productive our daily lives are in the school. There is literally not one day that goes unproductive. In fact, uh, there was one such situation when this was a time when all of us were to come back home for our holidays. And there were at least 40 or 50 odd students in our cohort who had to stay back because their flights were the next day. So we had one day that was going to be unproductive. But definitely the principal did not like that. So what he asked, he arranged this entire trekking uh, program where there is something called the uh, Belindri Hills nearby. It's about, I think, 2,500 feet or so. And we were taking trekking the one whole overnight journey just so that we do something productive and uh, learn about teamwork, learn about helping. Because there are lots of our friends who are uh, obese, who might be, uh, you know, uh, not very fit. So there are situations where they would get tired. We would actually help them, uh, you know, together, together actually help such people to finish, reach the summit. So all these uh, accumulate beautiful experiences uh, that are memories, uh, you know, for a lifetime. And in fact, Swamiji, Swamiji when he came, uh, so we have this yearly camp that happens in school. And all the Sierra students are invited. It's an international uh, Chinmay Yuvakendra camp. And all of us are an integral part of that camp. And every year there is a, a constant connection with uh, you know, the school where Swamiji, uh, Swami Swarupanandji, yeah, Swami Swarupanandji runs these sessions uh, speaking about various uh, Vedic literature, you know, the Taitri Upanishad, the Kato Upanishad, the Vedas, what Vedanta is all about. And my entry into the school could not have been timed better because I was at a stage where uh, I probably was an erratic decision maker. Uh, this was when I was about 16 and still uh, did not know what was right, what was wrong. Uh, was probably drifting away from a very disciplined life to maybe being a little more uh, rebellious and all of those things. And for me, what CRS has done in two years is literally shaped me in terms of the discriminatory power that I spoke about earlier to make me a better human being. Everywhere I go, uh, people are, I, I try to inspire people. Uh, people recognize that also. In fact, in my professional environment, when I see my peers, uh, some of my seniors would tell me, it is just amazing the level of maturity you show in uh, uh, the various things you do, the way, the way you manage things, the way you speak with, uh, with uh, you know, uh, the people in the organization. So, literally, the, this, the school uh, is basically constructed, the entire system is uh, built in such a manner that it shapes the overall personality of the student. And uh, like Swamiji Anupalananda said, literally making an impact in everybody's lives uh, as we even move out of the school, basically making the world a better place to learn. Adio, thank you.